I was uh, just an alienated young man in the, in the 60s uh, that came up through that era of youth rebellion and found my way into a, a federally funded sabbatical for 14 years. And, uh, uh, but uh, during that time, I, I found myself in a world of tremendous suffering. I was at a federal prison hospital where people were dying. Uh, this was the middle of the AIDS crisis. Uh, all kinds of suffering. It was also a mental health facility, just terrible suffering. And uh, the influence of, of my background caused me to want to do something to be of help. So got involved in the hospice work and also in trying to make meditation, which I'd already been trained in, available to others. And so uh, started uh, corresponding with prisoners in other institutions and realized that was a very limited thing I could accomplish in my prison cell. Managed to get an organization started and, and today it's become a movement that's involving uh, really tens of thousands. I think we all know we're largely driven by habit, all of us. We're, we're habit-driven creatures, and uh, if, uh, if we don't become aware of that and take ownership for our own brains, our own psychology, our own nervous system, and learn how to uh, become more emotionally intelligent and more mindful, then we're pretty much just going to be driven by whatever conditioning that we got given our circumstances and our upbringing. So mindfulness gives us the tools to step back and see that conditioning uh, own it, embrace it, and make changes in it, or at least not be driven by it. And uh, literally, if we, if we want to be more peaceful human beings, we need more peaceful minds and we need more peaceful brains. And uh, neuroscience today is, is showing us very clearly how various kinds of mind training can build up those sectors and neural networks in the brain that support the strength that Sakya Mipam Rinpoche talked about, that resilience and strength that underlies peace. And, uh, and that uh, decreases the strength of our fear-based neural networks and allows us to actually become more peaceful human beings.